So guys, this is by far the best phone mount you could get for your F30. So today we're going to be talking about this Renline phone mount. It is by far the best that I have seen online. I've seen a ton of videos from Keys Motorsports, uh, from Thick F30 or Thick Whips. Well, yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited for this because, um, you know, I'm used to having my phone on like suction cups and this just doesn't look that great. I also have the one that goes on the vent and sometimes it just falls off and you know, I don't like to have my phone just falling off whenever I'm driving. So today we're going to do an easy install. And if you want to get your hands on one of these phone mounts, click the link in my description and you can order yourself one of these. Let's go to the install. All right. So for starters, what we want to do is assemble the phone mount piece itself. And in here you'll see a little like hole type deal thing. And in that hole is where you install part of the screw. Then you get the, uh, this little ball bearing or ball thing joint that comes with it and you just screw it on and that's gonna hold the actual phone mount piece and I believe that this end is uh, you can tighten it with an allen wrench so here's a close-up of it all right so what we're gonna do is uh, tighten it but I think you could just like put your finger on it and give it a nice tight squeeze and just to be safe you can get an allen wrench So here's the Allen key and what we're gonna do is just tighten it up pretty good because I don't want to go back later on and tighten it so make sure it's nice and snug. And there you go. So now that this is nice and snug, what's gonna happen now is that this will clip on to this, right? Like this, there you go. And with this little wheel, you can just like spin it. And there you go. You're ready to assemble it. You know, you can tighten it as you wish. I like to make sure that things are pretty tight. So there you go. All right. And then this can easily move and you're good to go. So now you're ready for the install. It also comes with uh, a couple of stick ons that go on the back of your phone. And this is so that way your phone can just attach to it. But as you can see, I already have one and uh, I'll do a little test. Look at that, that, oh, that's legit. All right. So now that we have this all in place. Let's go to the car and install it. All right, guys, so we're in the car right now and uh, I just love the way this thing feels. I mean, the way that it's gonna work, it's gonna be basically installed like right here, um, which is gonna just provide a lot of room for me to like navigate, you know, the iDrive, the stereo, and it doesn't really get in the way. The vents, again, it was over here and it would clog up just the area of the AC. It would get in the way a lot. So I'm kind of happy that I'm... Are you serious? All right, so what we want to do now is uh, basically take off this part here. Just take it off. There you go. So we're going to take the bottom part off. So basically what we did is that we just removed this part off like that. And it just comes off really easy. And I can already see one screw over here that we're going to have to unbolt. And there's one over here. And to access it, you have to take off this, the panel. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so with your trim tool, you're going to want to just pop it up. Because this back part over here seems pretty fragile, so there you go. So what I like to do is just uh, get some painter's tape and tape it on on the back end of the iDrive. And just stick it on. This should do and hold it meanwhile you work. And we're going to start to unscrew the T20s that are on each side. I'm just going to unbolt the two on the right fully 
and the ones on the left hand side I don't have to take out completely because it's doesn't there's no need to unplug it right so let's go ahead and do that all right so we're gonna go ahead and start to unscrew these now they're pretty long so it's not that bad all right so we go ahead and did that and we're just gonna pull it up slide it in here you can see this fits perfect on right on the back end so what I'm gonna do now is just plop it in put in the screws and uh, you should be good to go There you have it guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you next week, family.